everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you can see by the title today, I'm going to be doing a full face using product from Just My Look. Just My Look is a makeup website. Um, I will link them in the description. They also have an Instagram which I'll put up on screen just now. They're a makeup shop, a makeup website, but they sell health and beauty. They do hair, skin, makeup. I feel like they're a really, really underrated website and a lot of people don't know about them. You know, everyone knows Beauty Bay and Cult Beauty and feel unique. But do you all know Just My Look? Because if you don't, you're about to. This video is not sponsored. They didn't ask me to do it. I just wanted to do it because they did send me a parcel recently that was full of goodies and also I've got a lot of products from Just My Look anyway. So I wanted to do a full face using those. There's two or three products, I think two products that aren't from Just My Look but that's only because I didn't have them or I had them before and now I've run out because they're finished, because they're good. This is the super colourful look we came up with as well as super perfected but glowy skin and just a lovely peachy corally lip. It's just a lip liner. The palette we're using is the Sample Beauty Paradigm Shift palette. I've used this because they are either already stocked on Just My Look or they're coming soon to Just My Look. And also I really wanted to play with this palette properly and really put it to the test because it's gorgeous and this is the look that we came up with for that. But yeah, I just think if you like makeup, if you like makeup shopping online or hair care or make or beauty skincare, anything health and beauty, you need to go and check out Just My Look if you haven't yet because it's really good, really good offers, good prices, really fast shipping and also like I've met the team, well I've met someone from the team, they're so nice. They're so nice and I just think they deserve to be huge um, and they sell makeup so I like them. So if you want to see how I created this look here on my visage then please just do it. keep on watching. Again, video's not sponsored but it seems like it is but I would tell you if it was, you know. So I'm starting off with the P. Louise base, first time I've ever used it, very excited. This is the shade Rumour 01. And I'm just like blobbing some on and I'm just gonna blend that out using a flat concealer brush. See how light it is. It surprised me actually looking at all the kind of um, like videos of it online and stuff. I thought it would be a lot thicker and it is thick but it's not like mega thick. Bring that along underneath as well. So I've just patted that over my entire eye area. My eyelids are a little dry um, just because of the retinol that I've been using but oh well. Then I'm going to pop on a little bit of sellotape just um, as a guideline for my eyeshadow. So dipping into the Paradigm Shift palette and first picking up this one at the bottom, this like really deep kind of wine red. I'm just gonna pack that on. And kind of wing it out along that tape a little bit. Then I'm dipping into this purple shade here and I'm going to start blending the edges of that deep red. That deep red's not actually that important for this look but I did want to just kind of have a kind of base shadow to work around. So I'm just blending the edges. These shadows are nuts, they are so pigmented. Holy guacamole. Then I'm gonna dip into this coral orange, pop that on first and then follow up with the yellow. This look looks nuts until it's finished. In fact, when I was kind of at this stage on my other eye, I almost wiped it off and was like, no. I need to start again, but if you just stick with it, it really works. That yellow. 
And I'm gonna just hit my brow with that yellow. That's kind of what I did on the other eye. And then I'm gonna take this deep, 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 deep blue, just on that same brush, throw that in my crease. Just packing that on my outer corner as well before we go in with our cut crease. This is such a beautiful deep, deep blue that's still really blue, like it doesn't look black or anything, like it's clearly super blue. Blue, 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 blue. I'm gonna go back into, not that purple, that purple there. Although that other purple is very pretty. And I'm gonna a bit more carefully just start blending out the corners of that blue. And then I'm gonna go in with a pinch of this like raspberry pink. Just where kind of blue and purple are hitting the orange. Just putting that on to help transition them. And a bit more yellow on that brush just to go over the edges. And that's really gonna help that blend a bit better. I'm actually pretty happy with how that's looking just now. So what I'm gonna do is grab more P. Louise base and just put a little dab on the back of my hand. Just a small, just a pinch. And I'm gonna copy what I did on that side by doing like a cut crease, but it's kind of rounded. Um, I might need to kind of go off camera and focus on this, but I'll just begin it begin it with you. I'm literally just like rounding it off. Almost trying to like take it in. See what I mean? Actually pretty happy with that. I'm gonna tidy it up a tiny bit and then we'll come back and fill it in. Now we're gonna use this gorgeous mint shade just here and pack that over that eyeshadow base. Very pigmented. Very pigmented. I really like that eyeshadow base, but I do think these shadows are playing a huge part because they are so pigmented. Sample Beauty eyeshadows are really getting a reputation for how good they are. Um, where's my brush? Taking a pencil brush, I'm gonna dip into that deepest navy and I'm gonna start to kind of Cut this upwards in that kind of shape and just patting that on.
But I'm also going to dip a bit into this light blue, which is just above that mint we just used. Same pencil brush and just kind of pat in between the mint and the deep blue. And that's going to start just by patting to give us a really nice blend between the two very different kind of tones. And then I'm actually dipping into the black in the palette and just patting that on a little bit at the bottom. Just to get that depth there more than kind of anywhere else on the look. I'm going to throw on a quick wing using my Ico Skinny Eyeliner and then we'll add the glitter because this look is too matte and I need glitter. Now I'm going to put a bit of Too Faced glitter glue all along my black wing which is here. It magically appeared between this clip and the last one. And sticking with the Sample Beauty theme, I'm going in with the Sample Beauty pigment in Kira B, which is like a reflective champagne gold. You won't be able to see it. I can open it, but I'm really scared about spilling it. There we go. Ooh, yes. So just gonna pop this glitter glue on all over the wing. And then I'm just going to start patting on that gorgeous pigment. Let's get this tape off. Nothing more satisfying. Nothing. Although if my camera focused, that would be pretty darn satisfying as well. There we are. I'll quickly go through on a lash and then we'll move on to skin. But, yeah, I quite like how these eyes are looking just now. So just my look has an awesome range of foundations on the website. But one of my favorites, no. Well, yeah, it's one of my favourites, but there's a lot of favourites. The Catrice one, amazing. But I'm going to use my Dermacol today because I want really full coverage. I think when you do like a super dramatic eye, you don't want like blemishes on your face. Like, you know, you just want to make sure you've got like perfected skin. So I'm going to use Dermacol. I use shade 208, which is lighter than 207. So bear that in mind. Look up swatches online to see what shade you would be. And also... It is one of the few places to get genuine Dermacol because this product is really, really highly, um, what's the word? Faked, forged, faked, you know what I mean. I'm going to just blend that in using a sponge. I've actually, um, lost my beauty blender. Um, they also sell those. It's just such a fab website and I really love it and I love the people that work there and I just think it needs to be known by so many more people that it is a really good website. Look at the coverage of this, is it not nuts? What I really like about this that although it's super full coverage, it's not super matte so doesn't feel really drying and heavy and cakey personally if you use too much it can I mean any foundation can but yeah really good foundation if you want major coverage for concealer I'm gonna use the Catrice liquid camouflage and um, another great place because a lot of places don't sell Catrice and it is really difficult to get hold of so and just my look. 
seriously this is not sponsored <laughs> i promise i just i got sent such a lovely bundle by them and um i've wanted to do this for a while because i'm gonna do a um full face beauty bay as well at some point if you guys like the sound of that just let me know down in the comments yeah loving how that looks but I am super dewy and you know me I need to set my face because I don't feel secure if I don't one of my favorite powders since I started using it as you can see because I've hit pan really pretty quickly on this this is the Milani prep set go transparent face powder it's just really nice it's not powdery powdery so it just sets the face without being like cakey powdery we just make sure we've got no creasing and I'll quickly wrap this on and it doesn't at all oxidize my base or change it in any way except just to mattify the dermacol you do need to set it anyway because if you don't it will just transfer quite easily so if you like hug someone you'll probably just like leave your face on them but worth it worth everything for the coverage so you have mattified this half haven't mattified this half big difference but it also means this makeup's gonna last forever I feel really, really secure now, like my makeup is not gonna go anywhere. So now we're going in with my favorite bronzer of 2018, hands down, which is the Milani Bake Bronzer. I use this in most of my videos. I think looking at my like tracking of how many I've like got you guys to buy, it's like 50 or 60 at this point, like a lot. I love this bronzer. This is shade 04. I wear 05 when I'm not quite so pale, um, but 04 when I'm pale works really well. My new thing is just to kind of tap it on. I've got to say, like I've started like tapping on my like bronzer and blush and contour. And I feel like it just looks better. Sometimes I can kind of lift up my foundation because I'm so rough when I'm like sweeping my powders on but um, I'm just kind of patting this on and the reason I love this bronzer so much A it's really pigmented but not too pigmented it blends very easily very easily it's just a beautiful tone for me but also it's got a bit of shimmer to it and that's really nice at this time of year just for keeping that glow going throughout your whole face but in a subtle way that isn't too much but just looks really really healthy and sun-kissed another reason i would really recommend just my look is they always have deals and offers on quite often they'll have free gift offers on gifts with purchase quite often they have like 20 to 30 percent off like a given brand um they're just really good and postage as well is super quick and um, just my look if you watch this do you want to like pay me because this is pretty much like i'm joking now that i've got my bronzer on i'm going back in with my powder brush just going round everything and making sure i've got no harsh edges and everything's really well blended. To contour, I'm actually going to use the Bam Bahama Mama. That is a bronzer, but it actually works really well on pale skin as a contour. It's really quite cool toned, so it works really well. Also, just my look, um, like the Bam line seems to be a lot cheaper on there than other places. See that's just adding a nice bit of definition under my cheekbone. And then I'll go back in with my bronzer brush. No harsh edges. 
little bit on my nose, but I really don't really enjoy nose contouring because I'm bad at it. So I feel like I make my nose look like fatter than it is. Not that I think I've got like a really fat nose, but you know, it's it ain't a skinny nose. A little bit back on my powder brush, tapping. So I mentioned that I recently got a big parcel from Just My Look and in it was the Catrice High Glow Mineral Highlighting Powder. First time I've ever tried a Catrice highlighter and it is gorgeous, it's really blinding. It's almost like a, it's like a proper, like true champagne, I would say. So this is the highlight I'm gonna use. They've got a lot of good options on the site, but I don't think I've actually used this in a video yet. No, I don't think I have, so I'm gonna use this one. Put that on the old, the old cheeks. Look at it. It's so inexpensive. It's so gorgeous, but really like a glow from within. It's not at all like picking up my skin texture and highlighting that. It's just like melting into my other products. I'm really falling for Catrice. I want to try a lot more of what they have to sell. I just feel like I'm adding a dewiness back to my skin without having a dewy feeling foundation, which I don't like because I just don't feel secure. For blush, again, they have many a beautiful blush, but my favorite blush is the Milani Luminoso, and I think this peach tones are gonna go with the kind of peachy orange and yellow we've got up in our eyeballs. So I'm just gonna use it. It's also got a slight sheen to it as well. Gonna blend into that bronzer and highlighter beautifully. I'm gonna go do this under eye, find out what I want to do with it, come back, we'll do this one on camera, and then finish off with lips. Why do I always do this? Finish off with lips. I'm not going too exciting on my under eye, I'm just gonna go under with that original kind of mulberry shade we used. Um and I throw that on, just on a pencil brush, and then blend it out with a bit of yellow. I think the top of the eye does a lot of the talking, um, but I do like to just kind of make the bottom make sense with the top, which probably didn't make sense in itself. Another skill I have. So I'll go in with the yellow, just blend that out a little. Like I said, I'm not sure if this palette is yet available on just my look, but they are getting the Sample Beauty line, which is awesome to see that extending as well into other retailers. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with a slight bit of, um, like a corally orange as well, just in between. And then on just my like inner corner brush, I'm picking up the white. And I'm actually just gonna like pack that on as my inner corner highlight and drag it along my lower lash line a little bit. Very pigmented. I don't know, I quite just like, I like bright white now, like recently as just an inner corner highlight. And there's something quite flattering about it being like a matte inner corner highlight, you know? Inner corner highlight, inner corner highlight, inner corner. Fine! And then I'm gonna go in with a white eye pencil on my waterline, just cause I think it'll kinda match this look, I know. Not using blue. Mm, mm, mm. What do you think? So I take a bit more yellow 
and just smoke out my lower lash line a little bit more. I think that looks a bit cooler now. And then for lips, I'm gonna use a nude. Woo! Fun! I'm gonna line my lips and completely fill them in using Jar Cosmetics Peachy Keen Lip Liner. You know, I actually really quite like that on its own, like without anything over the top of it. Just like a super peachy lip. Yeah, I think I might just leave it like that actually because it suits the eyes. So this then is pretty much full face from just my look, pretty much. There's a few products I have to substitute, as you saw, but um, mainly the Ico eyeliner because my Art Deco one has run out. Um, terribly sad about that. It's expensive, but it's not good. Um, sample Beauty will be coming soon. Um, but I think everything else is from Just My Look. <laughs> Yay! I really like how bright and colourful the eyes are. I love the skin. I think the skin is lovely. I think it looks really beautiful. And then this lip is just super cute. Let me know what you think of this look down in the comments down below. Do you want me to do one for Beauty Bay as well? Let me know. Um, let me know if you've checked out Just My Look or if you're going to go now and check it out after this video. Go and subscribe to their YouTube channel as well. I'll link it up here. I've done a few videos over there for them, tutorials and such. So go and, go and check it out and subscribe. Um, oh, I've got lipstick on my teeth. Great. Subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. And I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye.